the spirit of heaviness, uh, depression, anxiety uh, can be bound. It can be processed out uh, through prayer, but it takes a while sometimes. It's not going to go away immediately because you didn't get it immediately. It's a depression, anxiety, the spirit of heaviness is sometimes people are born with it and sometimes it come, it develops inside of a, a person and sometimes it just stands around waiting for an opportunity to, just to manipulate also too. It just depends on how it works with each individual, but you can make it go away. It's it's not that hard, but it takes persistence. Just like uh, if you're praying for anything, sometimes it takes a while. It could take a year. It could take two years. It could take a day. It just depends on the individual and how God works with you as an individual. And this is in Isaiah chapter 61, uh, verses 1 through 6. And we're, we're going to do this uh Prayer combination prayer declaration is, is what it is. And we say we say a, a passage and then we do a small prayer after the passage. We put you put it in your own words. You can do this with your family every single day. Um, depression is generational, so it affects a lot of family members. Some people it affects their entire family. So uh, you read uh, you read one through six and then of the, of sixty one. And then you um, say your individual prayers. You can do this at your church. Do it all together. You read it. Everybody reads it together, same version out of the Bible. And then everyone does their individual prayers. And then the thing about it is everybody uh, grows in Christ. Everybody uh, um, uh, you're pressing in. So the the goal is to. Trust and believe God 100% for every single situation in your life. And this is the way to be able to do it. And this, you can use this same passage for a lot of different things, not just for the spirit of heaviness. But this one is for the spirit of heaviness. And the spirit of heaviness is nothing to play around with. It, it takes you into a dark hole. It's very gloomy there. It is, there's no joy in there. There's, I don't have to explain how depression works with you. It's a, it's a horrible place to be. And if you really want to get rid of it, I mean, if you really, really want to get rid of it, if you're sick and tired of it, then this is the way to do it. And it will knock, knock on the door and come back at you. But if you use certain of these scriptures in here in your mind and you talk to the Lord about, you know, when it comes around, if you recognize it when it comes, you can defeat it. It will go away. Sometimes you have to wait after you pray for 15 minutes or 30 or a half an hour or an, even an hour. And expect it to go away. That's the thing about it. You expect it to go away. And we're going to uh, go ahead and do this uh, reading here. It's uh, in the description area below also, too. And um, do it for 40 days in a row. Every single day. And you watch and see what the results will be. You, you won't have to wait 40 days to see results, I guarantee you. But you will feel an emptiness inside of you. Because when the depression leaves, it's going to leave a void so you're going to want to replace that with some joy or some love or some peace of God. And you're going to have to ask God for uh, what you want, whether, whether it's joy, love, peace, rest. Um, and then get used to that instead. Because uh, de depression, it, um, it, it acts like it's your friend at, at times. And a lot of people, when they don't have it anymore, they actually miss it. And, um, and then they allow it to come back in and then they... And that's what that's a comfort zone. It it's very deceiving, you know. So, and I hope um, I hope this uh, works quickly for you and your family. God bless you guys. Ready? Mm -hmm. Father, Father, in the in Jesus, Jesus' name, name Lord, Lord, thank, thank you, you for dying on the cross for me. me. Please, Please forgive me of my sins. sins. I forgive everyone who has ever and has done me wrong. wrong. Isaiah 61 1 states, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me, because the Lord hath anointed me to preach good tidings unto the meek. He has sent me to bind up the brokenhearted, to proclaim liberty to the captives, and the opening of the prison of them that are bound. I pray for the Spirit of the Lord God to rise up inside of me. Lord, please heal my broken heart. Please give me liberty and set me free. 
Isaiah 61, 2 says, To proclaim the acceptable year of the Lord and the day of vengeance of our God, to comfort all that mourn. God, let this be the year of your revenge against the enemy, and comfort me and all who mourn. Isaiah 61, 3, to appoint unto them that mourn in Zion, to give unto them beauty for ashes, the oil of joy for mourning, the garment of praise for the spirit of heaviness, that they might be called the trees of righteousness, the planting of the Lord, that he might be glorified. God, give me your spirit of beauty to replace the ashes of my broken heart. Take away the mourning and give me your spirit of the oil of joy. Lord, remove the spirit of heaviness and give me your spirit of the garment of praise. Make me, Make me a tree of, of righteousness that is, that is planted by you so that you may be glorified. Isaiah 61 4 says, And they shall build the old ways, they shall rise up the former desolations, and they shall repair the waste cities, the desolations of many generations. God, make me a brand new person. Repair me, fix me, dissolve the break every generational curse that plagues me and my family. In Jesus' name, Isaiah 61 5 states, And strangers shall stand and feed your flocks, and the sons of the aliens shall be your plowmen and your vine dressers. Lord, I pray that you make my enemies subject to me. Confuse, divide, and destroy them. Send them all far beneath my feet permanently. Isaiah 61, 6, that ye shall be named the priests of the Lord, that men shall call you the ministers of our God. Ye shall eat the riches of the Gentiles, and in their glory shall ye boast yourselves. I give you all the honor, praise, and glory forever. Amen. Amen. You guys have a great day. Oh, and I'm going to amend this prayer, Father. Feed, clothe, and shelter, and give fresh water to everyone around the world that needs it today. Show your face to them, Lord, and let them know that you love everybody. Let, let every individual know that you love them very, very much, Lord Jesus Christ, and that you have a plan for their lives, Lord. And just fill their bellies and give them warm beds and clean clothes and fresh, lots and lots and gallons and gallons of fresh water, Lord Jesus Christ. And showers and just everything that they need lord just let them know lord jesus christ that you are there for them lord in jesus name amen